Have you been told to use the database for your research? If so, it is for a good reason. Databases are powerful information gathering tools that provide researchers with the ability to obtain a comprehensive overview of research in various fields of study, easily extract useful information using a multitude of search features, and manage and manipulate both information and data. Frequently you will find that these tools are only available to you from libraries as libraries fund access to them. There are many different types of databases. Some provide a comprehensive overview of research in a specific subject area, like medicine, while others are interdisciplinary. Some are publisher or collection specific, while others focus on indexing content regardless of who published it and they may or may not have full text articles in them. Databases with full text provide articles within their database, making it easy to get an article by simply clicking on its hypertext links. Databases without full text, also known as indexing databases, provide researchers with the basic information they need to 1. Evaluate whether or not the item is appropriate for their information needs and 2. Locate the item in journals, book chapters, etc. Regardless of the type of database, libraries frequently ensure that their users can locate any item identified by one, whether it is in their physical collection, their digital collections, or in other libraries. In these instances, you will often see a Get It or Find It button provided by the library. All databases provide a basic search engine that looks and operates much like Internet search engines. They also have advanced search engines with features that enable researchers to do very precise searches. These include the ability to 1. Effectively combine search terms using the words AND, OR, and NOT. 2. Indicate if a word is to be searched as an author, title, or subject. 3. Limit their results to full text articles, scholarly peer reviewed articles, by date, by publication type, by language, and even by things like population groups age groups, historical periods, industry codes, study type, by substance or compound names, and by education levels. Frequently databases are created to help people identify research that is published in journal articles. However, it is important to know that there are also databases for newspapers, business and legal information, primary sources, statistical data, books, ebooks, and book chapters, education and psychology resources, creative works, government documents, theses and dissertations, compounds, taxonomies and genetic information, or any combination of the above-mentioned types of documents dependent upon the discipline and the types of resources people in that area need access to. To learn more about the appropriate database for your topic, ask a librarian, visit a library homepage, consult library guides, or ask your instructor which ones they recommend. Librarians in particular know these tools very well and are eager to help people learn how to use them. Taking the time to learn how to use databases will enable you to identify appropriate scholarly resources and help you to become a better researcher. So learn all about them. You will be glad you did.